This is the sun. And this little speck is what's going to grow into a giant clam. Giant clams start out like all clams. They filter water, they grow. But somewhere along the line, they pick up something that most clams don't have. They pick up little algae that form a symbiosis, a living arrangement with the clam that lets the clam become solar powered. It provides them an alternative fuel to the food they get from filtering. It's this extra food that gives the giant clams a great leap forward. It makes them the sumos of clamdom. It's the Everest of the bivalves. These clams are so big that they're actually almost mythic creatures. But mythic also because they're very rare and it's hard to find them. They've been eaten for centuries, but lately their numbers have been dwindling so few, in fact, that they're not enough to populate the reef back on their own. But imagine being able to see them again. Imagine the clam farms being able to repopulate some of these and swimming over a shallow sea on a snorkel or on a dive and seeing them on the bottom with their lips open to the sun, using their solar power to get bigger and bigger. Sometimes those myths can come alive.